siento segura que estoy en las mejores manos operándome en My Cosmetic Surgery. Ya está todo listo, no, no un ratito. We infiltrated some uh, tumescent solution underneath the skin, which will help decrease bleeding when we uh, pre perform the procedure. And then after that, so what we're going to do is we're going to start excising some of the skin. We're going to start excising some of the breast tissue. The breast tissue is going to kind of cone together, pushes the, the volume of the breast up, and then with the new implant, and then we have to close down the pocket so that the um, implants stay centrally located, and then we put everything together. It's kind of like doing a jigsaw puzzle. Yo creo que mis primeros días de recuperación van a ser un poco duros porque yo soy una mujer bastante independiente y estoy acostumbrada a hacer todo por mí misma. So I've taken out the um, implant and you can see on the table here her, her old implant is a 375 uh, silicone implant. So what happens is in, in, in a lot of patients is that you know the implants are put underneath the muscle. The reason we put the implants under the muscle is that it decreases the rate of capsular contracture. But the side effect is that you know we're always using our, our chest muscles whenever we're kind of, you know, doing anything athletic or even just in, in normal things. So as the constant pressure of the chest, the pectoralis muscle, the chest muscle, as that continues to, you know, exert pressure, it can widen the pocket laterally and patients will complain of some, they can complain of some discomfort or they can actually complain of when they lie down, which is what her complaint, that the breast implant will fall all the way to the side. So what we're doing here is that we're just, um, you know, incising the capsule, which formed around the implant, and we're closing off that pocket. So now, when I put my new implant in, that the implants are gonna sit right on top of the chest wall as opposed to falling laterally. So they're gonna be nice, better position, more rounded and such. It can always happen again. I mean, nothing's 100% perfect. You know, as people who do a, a ton of uh, exercise, especially chest exercises and stuff, obviously have a higher chance of that. But, you know, at least for now, we're able to, to close that off so that we can, you know, just maintain the, the proper position of the implant. So everything's fine. The surgery went perfectly, exactly as planned. Um, you know, she did great. The breasts look a million times better. They're, they're right overneath the, um, you know, the, the chest. They have good projection, they're lifted, the areolas are smaller, everything's more symmetrical though, so she's gonna be super happy. Mi experiencia ha sido increíble, la verdad que todos son super amables, super cariñosos, profesionales, siempre están ahí para mí para ayudarme y me han acompañado en todo el proceso. Estoy muy contenta con ellos. Jenny, surgery's over. 